Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again. One of the many things we need to take into consideration when we go traveling on our holidays is where are we going to stay? Now this can vary depending on where you're going and what your preferences are, personal preferences, etc, etc. I'm currently on Koh Chang Island and I've decided to check into two different hotels, obviously not at the same time, but one is what I would consider to be at the higher end of the market, a little bit higher priced, and the other one at the lower end of the market, what I would consider to be more like your budget area. Has it been worth the upgrade? Keep watching, all will be revealed. Finally, I've arrived at Koh Chang and I've decided to check into the Hour Hotel. This is costing me £60 a night. Morning, everyone. Welcome to yet another fine day in paradise. I am on Koh Chang Island. I arrived here yesterday. Uh, when I arrived, I'd just been traveling from the UK, 13 hour flight, and then another eight hours to get to the island by bus and ferry. So I was feeling a little bit jet lagged, a little bit under weather, and do you know what? I thought I'd treat myself and upgrade a little bit to a 60 pound a night hotel as opposed to my usual 25 pound a night hotel because I really did need a good night's sleep uh, which I did have last night because it's morning now and the next day. Um, now I'm not usually one to go expensive I always have a budget to run by and uh, I thought I'd just upgrade a little bit and treat myself this time and pay 60 pound a night as I say opposed to 25 pound a night uh, at the Hour Hotel in Koh Chang. Was it worth upgrading or was I better off sticking to my £25 a night hotel? Let me show you around. Right, this is my room. This is what you can expect for £60 a night at the A1 Hotel in Koh Chang. Nice size bathroom. Toilet, quite handy. Got a safe fridge, coffee making equipment, and my room. Look at that. Big massive double bed, television. Look at that, lovely view from the balcony. Oh, lovely little balcony, look at that. There you have it. 60 quid a night. Fanny's your aunt. Have your omelets made for you. Will they? Well, breakfast is included in the price, and I've got that. Fried egg, some chips things, anemic sausage looking thing. But it is what it is. I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna do a review on this breakfast because to be honest with you, it's a hotel buffet breakfast, included in the price. And <laughs> better than some. But I wouldn't say it's the best breakfast I've had in a hotel. So you can even have your own pad thai made up, look at that. Made to order. Ready up. Oh my God, look at those prawns. Squid and prawns. I am in heaven. Beach in the front of the hour hotel. 
Yeah. Lovely view. But not the best beach front I've been to. The water's a little bit murky. Uh, I don't think I'll be going swimming in the sea here. I'm going to stick to the swimming pool on this one. But yeah, this is the beach at the front of the hotel. It's goodbye to Guy Bay and I'm heading to Lonely Beach to check out a £25 a night hotel and yeah, looking forward to this one. For my second part of call, I've decided to stay at the Buniyama Hotel on Lonely Beach. This hotel is costing me around £23 a night, so it's more of like a budget hotel, budget price. Let's go and check this place out. Right, time to change hotel, and I've decided to check into the Bumiyama Hotel. Something like that, I have trouble saying that name. But yeah, check into the Bumiyama Hotel. 25 quid a night, this is costing me. All right, this is my room at the Bumiyama. 25 pound a night, this room's costing me. Check out the bathroom, wow. Not the biggest of showers, but absolutely suffice. Got another one there with a lovely bath. Television. Lovely little work surface. Massive big double bed. What a room. Absolute bargain. £25 a night. Got television. Safe deposit box. Little balcony. Sit down outside and have a cigarette if I want. Chill out. Could even have breakfast out there if I wanted to. Nice view. I've got a clue what this door is. Oh, goes to the next room. Won't be using that, but look at that. Air conditioning, of course, very essential. Oh, happy days. I'm happy with that. 25 quid a night. Bob's your uncle. Fan is your eye. Have some of that. Beautiful. Happy days.
swimming pool at the Uiyami Beach Resort. Very inviting. Beautiful. I'll be jumping into that in a minute. And heading down towards the beach. Oh my giddy aunt, look at that. Hey, how about that then? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'll go as far as to say the dog's bollocks. Spot on. Well, time to grab my bags and go for a swim, I think, because it's 35 degrees and I'm sweating buckets. Right, my final review on the Hour Hotel. 60 pound a night, was it worth the upgrade? To be 100% honest, no. I mean, breakfast is included. Uh, hotel breakfast, it is what it is. They don't believe in giving anything away free, as you can appreciate. Uh, the evening meal was really nice, great stuff. Uh, the hotel itself, really nice room, comfortable on the beach but not really on a slight sandy beach. I mean, it wasn't very inviting water. It wasn't too clear. It is what it is. So was it worth the upgrade? Nah, not really. I'll stick to my 25 pound budget.